Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're back once again with our Intel NUC, the Hades Canyon NUC I reviewed a little while ago. I took the top off, don't worry about this cable here, everything is fine, uh, because I wanted to do a head-to-head -head comparison inside the same computer between an NVMe M2 hard drive uh, versus an M2 SATA drive. And this particular NUC allows you to plug either technology into its M2 slots, and a lot of modern computers now offer these choices. And the speed difference is going to be quite significant, I think, uh, between these two drives. And I wanted to do a little uh, comparison here so you can see exactly which one you should be looking at. Uh, the price on this MP300 is only about $75 or so for the, uh, the 250 gigabyte version. Uh, the 480 gig version is now under $200. So the price difference between the slower SATA drives and the faster NVMe drives is closing in quite a bit. In fact, I don't remember the NVMe drives looking this inexpensive when I was out shopping for this drive uh, when I was putting together the computer initially. So this is going to be a fun little comparative here. Now this drive came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one has reviewed or approved what you're about to see before this was uploaded. I did purchase the Intel NUC with my own funds along with the original hard drive that it has inside. So let's begin with a sequential disk speed test and we're going to run the black magic disk speed test here and we're going to start uh, with measuring the performance of the WD M2 SATA drive here. Again, this is the slower technology of the two and we're going to select that uh, folder there and we'll go over to test here on that drive and just run this test and this is going to get skewed slightly by the fact that this is also the system drive but I think we're going to see a big enough difference here between the two that that shouldn't matter all that much. So pretty good performance though out of the, you know, this older drive. We're getting about uh, 480 megabytes per second on writes and about uh, the same on reads. We'll see those writes drop off just slightly because the drive is probably caching uh, the writes there. But nonetheless, you can see the uh, potential performance we got out of this drive are really uh, doing quite well here, even reading well above 500 megabytes per second. So not bad for a traditional M2 SATA drive. So now let's see how our NVMe drive will do connected to the PCI Express bus on here. So we're going to go and select that drive, the NVMe here, and hit OK and start the test. And uh, I think we're going to see some differences in performance here. So immediately uh, you can see we've got much wider bandwidth here for the drive to operate with. So we're able to write at close to 800 megabytes per second. And uh, reads here so far are around 885. Let's take a look at another round of testing here. Again, this drive looks like it's caching a little bit. Uh, and now you can see the reads are running at about 1.2 gigabytes per second. So as usual, a lot of times with these affordable drives, the write speeds don't often equal the read speeds, but uh, you can see how this might really benefit you if you are uh, doing a lot of video encoding or something where you need to write quickly or read quickly as you're working through that process. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of potential here with these NVMe drives that uh, you don't get with an older M2 SATA drive. So if your computer, and you got to check the specs for this, uh, if it supports an NVMe PCI Express drive in its M2 slots like this computer does, then uh, if you want performance, going with the NVMe drive is a good decision here because they are significantly faster than uh, these M2 SATA drives, even though they go into the same ports. And that's one of the cool things about uh, these, drive, these computers that are equipped with the NVMe compatibility, uh, it's backwards compatible to M2 SATA. So if you want a really large drive and don't care about performance, you can get one of these M2 SATA drives, plug them in, but you can also run an NVMe side by side as we're doing here with this Intel NUC. So if you have the money and want the performance, go for NVMe, and it looks like the prices are coming down significantly. Let's take a look now, though, at how this drive performs with random reads and writes, which often look a lot different than sequential reads and writes do. So here are the crystal disk mark results from the MP300 drive from Corsair. Our sequential reads and writes are similar to what we saw on the uh, Blackmagic disk speed test. That is a multi-threaded read and write test here, which kind of measures the total throughput of the drive. And of course, the write speed is slower than the read speed. The multi-threaded random reads and writes did okay. 
about 688 megabytes on read and about 665 megabytes on writes. Typically, SSDs don't do as well with these random uh, bits of data. So there you can see the difference in speed between sequential and random on a multi-threaded uh, test there. Uh, these two lower results are single-threaded tests. So this is just a single thread sending data through to the drive. Uh, you can see those speeds are a little less given that it is a single thread operation. And you can also see the single threaded uh, random read and write score over here. So not bad at all. And just for the heck of it, let's run this on the M2 SATA drive while we're here and see if there's any differences with uh, kind of an off the shelf, similarly priced M2 SATA drive. So here are the results of the M2 SATA drive running with the older SATA technology. You can see the reads and write speeds here are uh, significantly less than what we saw with the uh, Corsair drive running on the NVMe technology. So certainly a big boost there as we saw with the Blackmagic test. Uh, we also have the random uh, reads and writes in the multi-threaded mode here, and you can see what we got there versus what we got on the uh, NVMe drive. So not bad on that one either. A good performance boost with the newer technology on that test. Uh, the single threaded sequential reads and writes were a little closer as you can see here. This test usually uh, gives you a lower score on these things. And if you look down below here at the uh, random read and write in single threaded mode, the scores are very close between the two drives and that's something I see uh, quite a bit on that single threaded test. But if you are looking for an M2 drive and you don't see that much of a price difference between the MVME and the M2 SATA, clearly the NVME is going to give you much better performance. And this performance, of course, will be important for people that are processing a lot of video, uh, but also for gamers where you've got a ton of data getting uh, read off of those disks and then being shoved into your GPU. You want the best throughput you can get, especially as you get into some of this 4K gaming. So even if it's a few dollars more, I think you are uh, better off choosing an NVMe drive if your computer supports that. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.